Tonight, exclusive access inside the U.S. Navy. Fox Carolina was invited to Naval Station Norfolk in Norfolk, Virginia. The base is home to the U.S. Atlantic Fleet, and it's made up of four aircraft carriers and a dozen different types of aircraft. And speaking of those aircraft, the crew on board have to be ready really for everything, even worst case scenarios. And I got the rare opportunity to view life as a sailor, and part of that experience was going through survival training. It's the best survival training in the world. Designed to suppress fear, prevent panic, and ultimately save a life. Flash water up your head so they can see you. Lower your visor down. Here at Naval Station Norfolk, this training puts you in a worst case scenario. Your helo has gone down in the water. The Navy understands there's a certain level of uneasiness towards the water. So they go about this training with a crawl, walk, run approach. So now at this point, scrap these. But before you even get wet, you have to suit up. We're talking flight suit, boots, and your helmet. Then it's into the pool. They test your swimming skills. Inflate your life preserver. Make sure you can tread water. If you stay afloat, then they step it up a notch. Let's say three, two, one, ditch. Remember the crawl, walk, run approach? Well, the shallow water trainer would be considered walking. The first time with your eyes open, find all three handles, toggle each one back and forth, then find the T handle above the window, twist it, push open the window and swim to the surface. The second time, the blackout goggles put you in a nighttime element, forcing a sailor to feel their way through the aircraft. Again, it's designed to prevent you from panicking. Speaking of panicking, the next training exercise definitely raised my blood pressure. As soon as you hear that, take your fist, just punch yeah, that, that window that right out. You're buckled in, flipped upside down, designed to disorient you underwater. I'll admit, instincts kick in, panic takes over, but the goal is to suppress your fear. The training also adds into the mix a parachute water landing. You're going to be landing face first in the water. You want to flip yourself over on your back, a technique called push-pull. You're just kind of going to push-pull. It'll be fairly simple. It'll pull you right on your back. Once you're on your back, you want to release the parachute. Once you're out of the parachute, swim to the life raft and wait for a helo rescue. You're going to roll out and you're going to get hoisted. There's training for the rescue itself. This platform has a hoist as well as a fire hose that simulates rotor wash coming from the helo hovering above. The crew lower the hoist, you hook on and get the feeling of being yanked from the water. Once on the platform, you unhook. Within a minute or two, the training is over. All right, all right, what we're going to do, take your helmet off. And again, wow. the, the goal here is to put these sailors in a situation to teach them how to respond in a way that gives them the best chance of survival. Of course, these uh, helos are out on those uh, flight decks. Uh, there's accidents that happen, so the idea is if they would go in the water, how to get out of one, even at nighttime. Yeah, and, I, and it was interesting, too, how they walked you through it and made it progressively harder and harder. Once you're comfortable with this thing, we'll take you to the next. But you did that where they flipped you up underneath. How did you, were you panicked or were you okay? I, mean, the, I think it's because you know they're there. They had divers in the water, but I mean, a couple people actually tapped out. It's just because it's the fear thing. If you don't control your breathing, you're upside down, water's in your nose. So immediately the fear goes into it. But uh, like I said, that's just part of what they have to go through and uh, go through that yearly as well. Now, tomorrow night, we actually gonna fly you to the USS George H.W. Bush. It's by far the coolest assignment I've ever been on. We uh, flew onto the ship, flew off of it. And if you're a Malden Maverick, if you're a Malden graduate, you're gonna meet a young woman who is representing Greenville and Malden High School as well. And you're gonna meet her mom too. She's here in Greenville, her family. So a very cool story. And she's gonna walk us through what she does daily on that ship. She's actually out on the ship right now. They're on a couple weeks uh, of assignments right now off the coast. So interesting to get that local yeah. connection too and to hear about what life is like to be out there on the USS Bush as well. It's loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, you learned that firsthand. Definitely. Wow, great story.